So Office 365 has released this new app called Forms for Office 365 for Education users. So when you log into your Office 365 account, you should land on a page that looks similar to this and you should see a button that says Forms. If you don't, another place you can access it is by clicking up in the upper left hand side on this little waffle over here and you will also see some of the tiles that you have available to you and Forms may be here, but if not, what you can do is click view all my apps because this is relatively new it might not be on your initial landing page and then you should see all the applications that are available to you so once you have found forms what you're going to do is click on it this is not a preview mode because it is very new so there are going to be changes along the way but they're they're testing this out and so far it seems to work pretty well so you can see I already have a couple of forms that I've created so in order to create a new one, I'm going to click over here on New. And the first thing you're going to do in Forms is you're going to name this form, whether it be a quiz or maybe it's going to be something that you send out to staff. You can name it whatever you want just by clicking on it. So for this one, we're going to put Summer Vacation Destinations. And mine is not going to be in a quiz format. Mine is actually going to be more of a poll and that I'll tell you more about why I'm specifying that later on and here where it says enter a description you can put in a little brief description as to what this quiz or this choice is going to cover all about summer so then what you're going to do is to start adding questions you're going to click add a question so you have a number of different types of questions that you can insert now you have something called choice and you also have something called quiz and to differentiate between the two. You would use quiz if you were actually doing a quiz with your students because this is going to allow you to pick a correct choice. Choice is going to look very similar to a quiz question but there is no correct answer. It's more of a polling and just to show you what I mean if I click choice over here I have the ability to type my question. I have the ability to type options. I could add additional options if I wanted to. Um, but you can see over here, I can delete any of these options, but I can't pick which one of these options is correct. However, if I come down and I add another question and I choose quiz, now you can see over here there are more additional options next to my answer choices. So in addition to deleting certain options, I can also leave feedback for certain choices. So if a student picks the incorrect answer, I can leave feedback as to what the answer should be and I can also here then check off the correct answer so you just have to be sure you know the difference between the two before you start actually building your poll or your quiz and it's up to you which one you want to create so I'm going to come back over here and this is my choice question so I'm going to put where would you like to go this summer 2016 and then you're just going to put in your answer choices and you again you can start it gives you two and then you can add as many choices as you want so we put in a couple of choices and then you can also add other as an option if this is a polling question now for example down here this was when we hit add a question this was the one where I chose a quiz type of question so if I want to make this an actual quiz question that has a correct answer, if I put my click inside here and I type my question, who is the best football player ever and currently resides in Florida? This is a quiz question, so there is a correct answer. So I can put in one answer and then I can put in another answer and then I'm going to select the correct choice which we all know and I can leave feedback for those of you who get this correct now you also have some options down here where if there was going to be multiple answers that were acceptable you could turn this on but by default it will be off and you can also make your questions required and you can see by default this is also off so particularly if you are doing a quiz you want to make sure all your students answer the questions so you might want to include this on here 
if this is a quiz and you are doing this in class and your students are on you know devices at their desks if it suits your needs you can also come down here and you can shuffle the options so that each student doesn't see the answer choices in the same order as the next student so you do have that available to you as well and then you can keep building your quiz by just clicking add if you want your students or your peers to answer put an answer option as a text option you can click on text this question obviously is not going to be graded automatically it's something that you're going to have to look at but if you are, do, are choosing all quiz type questions because you are picking a correct choice from the get-go the students tests are going to be graded automatically and then you will be able to see their responses over here in this responses section. So you're going to continue building a quiz with about five questions. Um, you can do it either as choice or you can do it as quiz questions. It's up to you. And then what you're going to do is you're going to be posting the link to your form, to your quiz on our Moodle page, which I'll show you how to do in the next video.